I just want to talk about Jordan Love and some expectations. Um, there seems to be two camps of people when it comes to Jordan Love. Well, three, which is just he's terrible, but those people are dumb. We don't need to worry about that. The, the, the two main camps as far as what we're looking for, number one is the consistency will come. We'll work on that in time. Just show me the big-time throws. Show me the Pat Mahomes, the Aaron Rodgers, the, the cool throws. Um, that isn't my camp. I've seen enough of that. I've seen the the peak. I've seen the top of the mountain. I've seen how high the ceiling is with him as far as his mobility and his ability to throw. We saw it in college. I know what his high end is. In fact, that was the whole thing with him coming out of college. It's He has Pat Mahomes' ability, but he's going to need some time to sit and grow. Well, okay, so we know the uh, the top end ability since Utah State. He's had time to sit. I want to start seeing some of the consistency because that's what's been lacking. I think most of the time, even when you could say he's had a good day, it's been kind of up and down. Now, granted, it's training camp. It's supposed to be up and down. You're challenging yourself. You're, you're kind of pushing the limits a little bit. But come preseason, you want to start to see in the limited opportunities he's going to have. And I don't know how many opportunities that is. But... I want to see games that look more like the Philadelphia game and less like, you know, the rest of training camp where there's one or two really impressive, like, holy cow type throws that circulate like crazy. Um, but really, he completed like, you know, nine of 21 passes, right? That's that's not what I'm looking for. So the Philadelphia game wasn't really necessarily as impressive in terms of the throws. It was just efficient. It was he got the ball, he knew exactly where to put his eyes, he knew exactly what defenders to read, and so he knew where the ball was going. He knew immediately that I'm going to throw to this person, and the ball was on time and it was accurate, and the, and the, the offense moved right down the field very efficiently. So um, that's essentially the most important thing for me. You know, I mean, even if you look at Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers, of course, had a bunch of wild throws, but he wasn't the great quarterback that he was because of the wild throws. Same with Pat Mahomes. Everybody wants to talk about those, and they're super cool. But he's going nowhere. He's going nowhere near the Hall of Fame if he can't efficiently move the ball down the field. Yes, I know that there's time, but there's nothing else for me to look for. I know what he can do. I know what his ceiling is, and I know that it's sky high. I need to start seeing the progression from what he was in college to what he was in 2021 to what he was in 2022, and now we're in 2023 as the starting quarterback. Show me the the um, intelligence with the football in your hand that you know exactly what it is you need to do. So that's what I'm going to be looking for when it comes to Jordan Love, and uh, we will revisit this topic if you want to check it out on the Packernet podcast every single day wherever you get podcasts.